and welcome to the TSN and Network. And here we are again with another crew member of the brave ship that went into the Skull Refuge Nebula to help rescue those hostages. Please tell us your name and rank. Uh, Captain Verrock uh, from the uh, TSN. Um, thank you for having me today. What were your, your initial thoughts when the Admiralty came down and told you to take your ship into this uncharted nebula? Um, I was actually expecting it to be more of a scientific exploration mission, uh, thinking that maybe there were some aggressive creatures in the area maybe attacking some transport ships, uh, but it changed very quickly into a, a pirate situation, uh, which we weren't expecting, um, but luckily the crew adapted to the changing conditions very quickly and uh, we managed to get through very well. If you don't mind me asking, like, what, what do you think your crew uh, did wrong to pull the short straw and have to go out on a what seemed like it would be a boring patrol mission. Well, um, I, I think the, the fleet may have been a bit shorthanded recently. We were um, in patrol in another sector and uh, actually was diverted here um, unexpectedly. Um, I think the other patrol sector was a little less priority, obviously. Uh, and this one apparently was a little more interesting uh, for Fleet Command to get into. Uh, I can't help but suspect maybe they knew a little more than what they told us whenever they sent us over there as well. Is there any ever a point in the mission where you were concerned they weren't going to meet your objectives? Uh, yes, actually, um, when the uh, Arvonians were uh, brought aboard the ship and uh, we had a failure in security, uh, which I'll be talking to my security chief about, uh, maybe reinforcing some uh, procedures in the brig, um, we had some saboteurs uh, that escaped uh, the brig and actually did some uh, substantial damage to a few systems. Uh, luckily, engineering and, uh, and our uh, Marine Detachment was actually able to assist us in capturing the uh, saboteurs and engineering took care of the damage very quickly So we were able to get back up and running uh, very fast. Is there any public service announcement or uh, Memo you'd like to send to ships who like would look, want to try and venture into these dangerous uh, nebulas? Uh, I think uh, Staying on your toes making sure that you have the uh, properly uh, skilled and staffed crew and uh, Ensuring that you have good security, especially when you're dealing with pirates uh, they definitely can throw you a, a curveball whenever something's uh, going on there. Well, then just going back to what you were saying, like I, I actually got reports that it was actually the medical bay that the the, the survivor escaped from and began sabotaging your ship. Is there any new policies you're looking at implementing on? as far as medical? Yeah, I think there will have to be some procedures changed when uh, uh, bringing uh, unknown uh, uh, potential uh, hostile aliens onto our ship, um, uh, maybe directly taking them to a more secure area than the medical bay. Um, but I don't think that uh, uh, the medical bay was, was equipped at all uh, to handle that. And uh, that was somewhat of either a miscommunication between the medical bay and the bridge or uh, someone just uh, made a snap decision uh, on the lower decks. and. Uh, um, it was the wrong decision, obviously. Are you concerned, though, if we start increasing security at our medical facilities when we're trying to save uh, survivors, with this leading to more profiling of aliens and maybe to, instead of helping uh, rescue aliens, we may be just putting them into brigs and stuff? I, I think that is a concern. Um, I think procedures could be taken to um, limit the, the uh, potential problems with that situation, but also still keep the ship's uh, uh, security uh, in mind as well. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, back to your regular scheduled program. Thank you.